Hey everyone, it's Glum3. And Llama Gal 300, I guess. <laughs> and welcome back to times Phoenix Wright. Uh, the last part, <laughs> we learned about April May's. Well, disgustingness. Yeah. <laughs> and now she's giving an alibi, so let's see what she has to say. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. That was <laughs> kind of an awkward place to pick up. I love how they look like they physically get, like, stabbed when there's, like, <laughs> yeah. a with So, what does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. Cell, cell phone. You're it's old. a telephone. You're old. <laughs> However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. No, they, they, no they, he was, she was tapping the... Oh, phone. I thought she was tapping, tapping her cell phone. No, no. Oh, it was Maya's cell phone. It was, it was Mia's. Yeah. Oh, she, it was, okay. she tapped Mia's phone. Telephone. Okay, fine. That, uh, you're young again, Edgeworth. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No. They're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I time this maid of the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness. Let's go with that, because he's... The defense would like to it. call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious there, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk in quite low, sunk in quite low <laughs> enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because it's stupid. No. <laughs> <laughs> because I hold the reasoning. I hold that the wiretap has nothing to do with the killing. Your, your honor, the, that is clearly stupid. <laughs> oh, yes, very just, true. Larry Bus is guilty. <laughs> Defendant just clearly a blithering <laughs> idiot. <laughs> However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to call on this witness. You're so why? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Condition. Condition? <laughs> if this April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. Wait, what about other people? That uh. is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Yeah, later we should talk about like the Phoenix Wright court system because it's, it's kind of complicated. Yeah. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. Also, um, what should I do? Condition. Also, the thing is, like in Japan, it's more like like guilty until proven innocent. Yeah, it's just that a lot of kind of, but it's not like entirely like. Yeah, that. I feel like for the Japanese audience, Phoenix would automatically be an underdog because I think it's generally yeah. understood that very few there are very, very few innocent verdicts or not. Because no, in those verdicts. cases, they only bring it if they're like ninety nine percent sure, sure that yeah. the person. I did think it. they yeah. Do they just investigate for a really long time yeah. or okay. something like that? Understood. I accept your condition. <laughs> You fell right into my trap. Well, don't tell someone they fell into your trap. Uh-oh. It's a trap. Uh, um, wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Hi, dub thee, Bob. <laughs> wait, I love this part. I believe we're ready for the next witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's holding his tea set. <laughs> Thank you, genius. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, sir. Right, even, right. The, even the bellboy has, like, highlights. Do you want to be the bellboy, or should I? Oh, I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'd be happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy. So without further ado, <laughs> the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Witness testimony. Miss May's room service. I'm the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I recently received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 p.m. on the dot, sir. <laughs> that picture. <laughs> I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. You look smarmy, though. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Well, she looks so excited to get the iced coffee. She's like, yay! yay! I think it's more, right. she's getting more than the iced coffee. Let's I'm ready. Put it that way. <laughs> this is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved in the murder now, Maya will be finished. She says, you said, you said that so calmly. You're like, Maya's just Maya's, born in jail. Maya's, Maya's gonna die. <laughs> Whatever. Why am I here again? I am the head <laughs> bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel. Oh, you already had this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The more we play this, it's like, I forget yeah. the text, how words work. I'm the head bellboy. Okay. Got a call 8 o'clock in the evening for a guest Miss May. She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at 9 p.m. on the dot. It's a little suspicious. Yeah. 9 o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes. 
I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine o'clock. Time of the murder. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Should you cross that? Yeah, I think so. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. Yeah, freaking, you're freaking adorable. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, favored me with the, um, embracer, sir. Embrasser. Embrasser. Is that French? See, she knows French! Is that French for embrace? I mean, he's just guessing. It's, it's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, <laughs> sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? <laughs> Tisk -t -t Why does he keep tisking us? Stupid Finally, tisks. you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen. Can I? Protest. Protest. Objection. Wait. Please wait. Yes. Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. They say charade it I know, them. I know. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Edgeworth. Alright, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it. Now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Um, bed making. Yeah, <laughs> bed I'm pretty sure this is like the fake answer, and these other two work fine. So I'm just gonna say room service. Okay. Wait, should I say? Room? I thought it was bed making because then she's with another man in there, and they're oh, like, oh, maybe all people. of them get you the right answer. Oh. I don't know. I haven't tried the other ones. T tell me more about uh, room service. Uh, again, sir. At exactly nine o'clock, I delivered room service to Miss Man Room Three Hundred Three. The guest had requested iced coffee. Eighteen dollars was the charge, as I recall. What seriously? I see. See, originally what I thought was going to be the issue here is he would have seen the murder too, I would think. Oh, yeah. But 18 bucks for an ice yeah, gift. $18? Have you never done this one before? No, I just... Oh, I, I, th yeah, I, thought, I think it's just bed making. Originally. $18? Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. And we don't skimp on the ice, sir. <gasps> the ice is the worst What did part. he say? Oh, for two. Oh, I think... Oh, I guess everything works. What did you works. say? Ah! Oh, uh... Rather, quite... Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Objection! I object! That was objectionable! <laughs> mm. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Er, uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, because, you. Because, uh, sir, I was uh, lying, yeah. You didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention! Ah, uh, yes, quite. In indeed. It was the, uh, uh, good, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked Edgeworth. me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Ah! Oh, oof! You, you, you fool! Uh, like, it looks like he's like, physically just, like, punched <laughs> when that happens. I've done it. I've won. One. One. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man and all this music. Correct? Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. Doesn't that mean that anyone could have been the murderer, though? Uh, in, it's just the guy. in this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant, but that means that anyone in the hotel. Uh, that's true. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? 
Simple. It was... Oh yeah, such a vague, weird question. The men who checked in with Miss May! Obviously. Oofa. Oofa fa 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 Your Honor! As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder! Exclamation point, exclamation Three exclamation points. My, what a convenient little setup, but it's a little too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? If it were too late, it's so a it, subjunctive. Is that what it said? It's supposed to be too, too late. After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof. Law! Upstart! Amateur! I hate oh, you! Oh, he was doing like the Konami code. Up, down, up, down, left, right, <laughs> PS5! <laughs> These accusations are ludicrous! I'm smaller than all of you! <laughs> How much is this M&M? 50 cent? That's ludicrous. The judge acknowledges <laughs> the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am yes, I understood? Sir. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. I am I'm a rhyming wizard. Is there like an elf who kicks him or something every time you like get something wrong? Yes. He's like physically bent It's like over a ghost that punches that just punches you <laughs> right like in the gut. In the solar spirit. plexus. Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know? <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? The fa that face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips, and his beautiful hair, okay, and his red okay. coat, and his fluffy Stop. cravat, it should send shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? You die. Do I get to go home now? Well, no. No, no we don't. I don't think so. Not yet. Aw, oh, I see. <laughs> you were very comfortable. Okay, <laughs> okay right, cool. I was going to jail. <laughs> but I got a great lead on today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that? Anyway. I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway. Later, this man. case is far from over. Yeah, I might go back to jail. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yes, does she sure. have to go back to jail? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm going to find out. No, she can, she can stay here, I guess. I'm uh, going to find so out more about this man. Oh no, she has to go back to jail. What am I talking about? Do you think about? he was the one who. Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. You better not let me down, you weird, spiky haired lawyer <laughs> guy. I <laughs> asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, it, it I'm not so sure. <laughs> Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record. And I was added to the court record. I don't know how much good this will do me now at all. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Woo! Maya doesn't belong in that detention center. It's up to me to get her free. <laughs> to be continued. Right. That's the end of this part. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Comment questions in the description. <laughs> Aren't you lazy? Hold it!